Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we are already in life. Sharmin Sultana, you can start maybe. Hello, everyone. This is Sharmin Sultana. And uh, we have our special guest, Eva Gala from Metropolitan Budapest University. And we have our CEO, Mr. Jubaid, uh, Jubaid Mia. So welcome our uh, live. So yes, please uh, stay with us and don't forget to don't forget to give your valuable comments and don't forget to um, share with your friends so that they can watch our live and reach to us. So yeah, we are gonna start our live from now. So thank you very much again. And uh, yes, yeah, especially today's uh, seminar is very, very important. And I would like to thank you very much, Ivagal to join with our this session and most of students are waiting for this seminar and i hope our most of the students will get a lot of information from you and uh, bangladeshi students are too much interested to study in hungary and especially in budapest and budapest university and metropolitan university so i'd like to ask all of my followers fans and followers please share this live and to uh, join our live session as soon as possible you want. And if you have any questions, don't doubt to ask any questions. We'll try to help you. We are here to help you to success your dream. So let us know if you have any questions. Already we have 50 people join on our live. So we would like to hit more than 100 people as a live session. So I'd like to go to uh, go to direct Ivagala. Please tell something about uh, something that in your university or you can share maybe your presentation. Thank you very much again to join with us. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello, Jubet. Hello, everyone. And I'm really happy that I can join this live session today. Um, I'm the agent management uh, team member. Uh, I am a key international key account manager, manager from uh, Metropolitan University, Hungary. And I am really happy that you joined to this uh, session and I will uh, show you some uh, information, really important information about Hungary, and about Budapest, because I'm not sure if you have ever been in Hungary. So I think uh, some information about the country will be useful for you as well uh, to get the decision at the end. But of course, I will uh, give you uh, detailed information about our programs, about the university, about the admission procedure. And of course, at the, uh, after the presentation, you can uh, ask me questions. And of course, I will answer it. But uh, you can contact anytime Jubed and Study First Info because uh, uh, they are uh, one of our trusted partners from Bangladesh. And they uh, know all uh, the steps, our uh, admission procedure, all the required information and, uh, and requirements, of course. So they can help you anytime. And, uh, Thank you for joining us today again, and let's show you my presentation. So can you see it? Everybody can see it? Yes, yes, okay. everything is okay. Okay, so first, uh, my first question or your first question could be that why study in Budapest and in Hungary? So we are a Western European country, but you can see that with a very good location. So we are in the heart of Europe. So everything is really easily reachable from Hungary. Uh, so you can uh, visit the main uh, Hungarian, uh, the main European country very easily from Hungary. So the plane uh, to Spain is uh, you can reach uh, Spain less than three hours. You can reach Fre uh, French less than two hours by plane. You can explore the surrounding countries uh, in an hour by bus or by train. So it's really easy for you to travel if you are coming to Hungary. With a wonderful culture, architecture, nature, uh, Hungary is a, a cultural uh, country with many, many historical uh, monuments historical uh, museums. So it's really worth to visit and really worth to discover all of the places in Hungary. Uh, what could be important for you that we are the member of the European Union and the Schengen zone, it's really important for you because if you are entering to Hungary with a D-type visa, uh, you have to apply for the residence permit uh, uh, in 30 days after the arrival. 
And if you get it, you, you will get a little plastic card. And with that plastic card, you will have the same rights as me as a Hungarian. So you can easily travel through the Schengen countries. You can easily explore the Schengen countries. So I just recommend you and uh, encourage you to, when you are in Hungary and the summer period is coming, you can explore all the countries uh, surrounding in, in Hungary. We are the member of the NATO. It's really important now because you know that it, the Ukraine problem is uh, is close to Hungary. But uh, I can clarify that everything is really safe here, so you can come and you won't feel anything uh, about uh, the Ukraine problem here in Hungary. Uh, According to the Global Peace Index, I, I, as I mentioned to you, we are a really safe country. So before the Ukraine problem, uh, Hungary was amongst the 20 safest countries all around the world. So I think it's, it could be a really important that Hungary and Budapest is a really safe country. Uh, about the uh, living expenses, so it, I think it's really affordable as well. Uh, you can count uh, between 500 and 700 euro per a month with accommodation. So it's really important that this price is with accommodation. We can offer you dormitory. Uh, we have uh, two really good uh, contracted partners. I will uh, give you uh, more details about our dormitory partners later. But now it's important that the li monthly living uh, expenses with accommodation could be between 500 and uh, 700 euro per month. What kind of option uh, you will have when you arrive to Hungary? It could be important for you. Uh, in Hungary, the students are allowed to work 27 hours per week. So uh, at the end of the month, you can earn around 300 euro per month. So I, of course, it won't cover all your expenses, but I think it could be a little help for you. It could be a, a good pocket money for you. So it's really important that in Hungary, you can work uh, besides the classes uh, as a, a part-time job. You can find a job uh, here in Hungary. And after the graduation, it could be important for you as well. There is a nine-month stay-back option, which means that after the graduation, you can extend your uh, residency permit and uh, you can find a job here in Hungary. Uh, we have a career center inside the main building of the university, so our colleague can help you finding a job. As I mentioned to you during the studying period or after the graduation as well, because we have many, many good contracted partners, international big companies and smaller hung uh, Hungarian companies as well. So as I mentioned, uh, our colleagues can help you uh, with, the, with the applying uh, procedure to find a good job in Hungary. As I mentioned to you, uh, Hungary and Budapest is a, is a historical and cultural country and, uh, and uh, city. So we have uh, more than 30 theaters, more than 200 museums, art galleries, uh, home to, uh, uh, to several UNESCO World Heritage sites. It's not only in Budapest, but the countryside as well. So you can visit and explore these sites when you are here and studying in in Budapest, and we are uh, uh, the best destination. Uh, we won the best destination, European best destination of 2019. Why choose Metropolitan University? We are the biggest private university in Hungary. It could be important uh, that we uh, found the university was founded in 2001, and we started only with. Uh, 126 students and now we almost have 7,000 uh, students so it's really important that you can see that how uh, so in a little bit more than 20 years uh, we reached almost the 7,000 uh, student numbers so I think it's a really good uh, number and from these numbers uh, uh, 1,500 are international students, so the international applicants, the international student number uh, growing year by year. And we organize uh, many programs uh, to them. And uh, Budapest also uh, also a uh, really good uh, uh, city for international applicants. We have many uh, universities uh, in Budapest, so uh, the, the city provides many programs uh, many, many possibilities for the international student. 
We have more than 20 English speaking prog uh, programs. It's really important that all of our bachelor and master programs uh, thought fully in English and on bachelor level as well. And our university is internationally recognized and accredited. Uh, and, uh, accredited. So it's really important that your diploma, what will you get? It's a recognized and accredited degree. We are the uh, member of the Erasmus program. We uh, have more than uh, 200 uh, partner universities all around the world. Uh, so the Erasmus is an exchange program. Uh, you can uh, go and study one of our partner universities for a semester. So, or if you are there, you can extend it for a year. It's uh, it is a good possibility for all of our students, for all of our applicants. Uh, after the first year, um, you have to study a new language besides the English. And after the first year, so from the second year, you can apply for the Erasmus program and you can spend, as I mentioned, a semester or a year uh, at one of our partner universities. And just let me show you that uh, uh, how our international students are. So what are the main sending countries? What are our main partner countries? If you can see that, Many of our students arrive from uh, the Eastern European countries, from the Asian countries, and from the African countries. But of course, we have many students from the United States, from, from England, and from the Western Europe, uh, European countries. They are mostly interested in our, in our art programs. Uh, but I made a small research before I came to this uh, uh, webinar, and uh, students from Bangladesh are really interested in uh, business-related programs. So the famous among Bangladesh uh, applicants are one of our business-related programs. And let's go what kind of programs we can offer to you. So we have four main programs. It is business, communication, tourism, and art. And all of uh, these programs stood fully in English and on bachelor and on master level as well. Uh, you can see here the detailed program list, what we can offer to you on bachelor uh, level in business, communication and tourism. It is uh, business administration and management, commerce and marketing, tourism and catering, communication and media science, and international relations. And it's really important that these programs, so program business and communication uh, and tourism programs uh, start two times in a year. So there is an intake in September, it is a fall intake, and there is an intake in February, which is the spring intake. Now the application is open for the fall semester, so the fall intake, which will uh, start in this September. You can see the tuition fees, these fees per semester tuition fee, and uh, you can see as well that uh, our bachelor programs normally last uh, for th three years or uh, three years and a half. So they include uh, six or seven semesters. The only exception is the tourism and catering. You can see it includes eight semester. And the reason of this that, uh, this program, in this program, there is a mandatory internship program. So the applicants, the student have to work one year in a tourism related uh, company. So it could be a hotel, it could be a travel agency. So something which is uh, in connection with tourism. Uh, you have to work one year there, you will get a salary as well. Mm, and as I mentioned, this program, uh, it, is, uh, it, it lasts for uh, four years. A few words about art-related programs on bachelor level. It is animation, environmental design, graphic design, and film and media studies. These programs last for three years, so they include six semesters. And it's really important that the art-related programs uh, has uh, uh, only one intake in a year. Uh, and it is in September, so it's really important. Now you can apply because uh, uh, applications are, are open uh, for the uh, September intake, so you can apply uh, now for the art related programs as well. But these programs uh, have only one intake in a year, and it is September. And you can see that some program marked with blue color, 
it means that uh, you can apply for these programs as well, but there is a minimum number, the minimum enrolled applicant number to start this program, and it is 12. So this program will start only in that case if there is a 12 enrolled applicants for the program. About the master programs, uh, master level, in business communication and tourism, we can offer communication and media studies, management and leadership, marketing, tourism management, and master of business administration. And you can see that the master programs last for two years, so they include four semesters. Similar to the bachelor level, these programs uh, have two intakes in a year, in September and in February. And you can see the tuition fees and these fees per semester tuition fees. What uh, we can offer on master level uh, in art related programs, it is art and design management and graphic design. These are the two programs which will uh, start definitely. And uh, there are some um, programs uh, marked with uh, blue, similar to the, uh, to the previous bachelor level. So these programs, you can apply for these programs, but there is a minimum number to start the program. About the application procedure, so it is really important for you. But as I mentioned, if you have any question or if you uh, need any assistance, you can contact Study First Info because they will help you. You can apply uh, to our university from the university website. Uh, it's a really easy uh, system. It's called Dream Apply. The first uh, step of the admission to choose what uh, program would you like to study. Uh, then you have to collect all the documents uh, which is uh, which are required. Uh, the most important is the pass uh, passport. You have to upload the passport. Always. Uh, uh, take care of the expiry date because it can't less be than six months. You have to upload uh, the previous school results. It's, uh, it's uh, really important. Mm -hmm. And to apply to the university, there is a strict requirement. Your previous school results, so your uh, GPR, CGPR should be equal or above uh, of 60%. So it's really important that the previous school result uh, must be above uh, 60%. So when you collected all the documentation uh, which is needed, you have to uh, register uh, to the Dream Apply system, have to upload everything and have to uh, submit uh, the application. Uh, when you submit the application, if somebody applying individually, it's really important uh, that you will get uh, uh, an automatic invoice about uh, uh, 100 euros. So it's important 100 euro registration fee. So if you are applying individually, uh, you have to pay this 100 euro to go on the process. But if you are applying through with the help of uh, study, for, uh, study First Info, so with an agent help, you do not have to pay this uh, 100 euro only at the end of the admission procedure. So not, not at the beginning, but the end of the uh, procedure. So it could be important because if you fail the documentation check, if you fail the Zoom interview or just if you change your mind, you won't lose anything because uh, because uh, if you are, as I mentioned, if you are applying with an agent help, you have to pay all the fees at the end of the admission procedure. So when everything is uploaded and everything is fine, uh, you will get uh, a link uh, and you can book an appointment for our Zoom interview. The Zoom interview is the most important part uh, at our admission procedure. So it's really, really important to be prepared uh, for the interview. So you can book an appointment and how the Zoom interview looks like. Just uh, I will tell it to you right now. So the first part of the Zoom interview is a mandatory math test only if somebody is applying for bachelor program and only before business administration and management, commerce and marketing and tourism and catering. You need to write this math test because uh, during the education there will be math related uh, subjects. So it's really important to check your math knowledge uh, because uh, if you are if you need uh, 
improvement uh, or your math knowledge is not enough, you will struggle during the education. So that's why it's really important. We have a sample math test. You can you, you can uh, ask it uh, from study first info from Jubed. Uh, it includes 25 uh, exercises, and I am sure that if you practice these kind of exercises, uh, there won't be any problem at the Zoom interview. Of course, the question won't be uh, the same, but really similar. And um, there will be a 10 question with multiplies choice option. You have 40 minutes to solve the, the question, to answer the question. And you can see that if you answer only one, two or three questions correctly, unfortunately, you fail the interview, so it will stop. If you answer uh, four, five, or six questions correctly, you can go on to the oral part of the Zoom interview. And if it will be a successful one, the admission team will offer you a foundation semester uh, where you can develop your math knowledge. If you answer seven, eight, nine, or 10 questions correctly, of course, the math test was a successful one, and you can go on to the oral part. And if it will be successful as well, you can start the normal chosen program at the coming semester. In case of communication and media studies, there is no math test before the, before the oral part of the Zoom interview. And in case of international relation, there is no math test either, but there will be uh, uh, so you can get some question, international related topic questions. So it's really important. Uh, Jubet has the topics uh, for international relation uh, uh, Zoom interview. So you can, uh, I just can recommend to, uh, to check these topics uh, and to read through these topics because uh, uh, it, there will be asked in the Zoom interview at the oral part. So how the oral part uh, looks like, it divided three main parts. The first is a, a chit-chatting, a warming up. You can speak about yourself, your, uh, about your family, about your country. But it, uh, what is the most important from our aspect is the personal motivation. So why would you like to come to our university? Why you choose uh, the chosen program? So in this part, you can count program-related questions. So in case if you are coming one of our business-related program, maybe the admission team will ask that if you would get a lot of money, what kind of company would you found? And what, why do you think it would be a profitable one? Or if you get a degree from our university, University, what kind of company would you found or what are your plans with our degree? So in this, in this part, uh, as I mentioned, you can count uh, program related questions. It's really important. The motivation is really important here. At the last part of the interview is a basic knowledge about Hungary and about the university. So it's really recommended to read through uh, some informational website about Hungary and of course, at least read uh, through our website as well. And you can count similar question at the visa interview. So uh, at the visa interview, you will get question, basic question about Hungary and about the university. About the fees, it's really important uh, as well to mention it. Uh, there are uh, some mandatory fees to get the final acceptance letter from the university, and there are some optional things. So what are the mandatory fees? The mandatory fees, the registration plus enrollment fee, so it is 200 euro altogether. And the other is uh, in case of, so the first year tuition fee. In case of bachelor applicants, it would be between six and 7,000 euro. In case of master applicants, it could be seven and 8,000 euro. So it's important uh, you, uh, to know that uh, we, we uh, need the first uh, year tuition fee because previously uh, we just asked one semester tuition fee and we got many visa rejections. So, uh, that was the reason we changed our policy and now we are asking one year tuition fee and the visa acceptance ratio, it's much more better. So that is the main reason because the embassy and the consulate and the immigration office will see that uh, you and your family are financially stable. So that is the reason we ask and we need uh, to get the final acceptance letter, uh, the first uh, year tuition fee to be paid. The other fees are optional, but uh, some of them uh, recommended to uh, to have uh, 
hour. It is a dormitory because you know that for the visa procedure, a long time uh, accommodation contract is a requirement. So if you choose one of our dormitory, we have two contracted partners. You have to pay a dormitory deposit, which is 750 euro. This is a, it is similar if you are renting a flat. So there is a deposit in case of damages or something happen. But if you are moving out from the university uh, dormitory, you will get this amount back. So this is just a deposit. If you are moving out from the dormitory, you will get this money back. You have to pay uh, the first month rental fee. It could be between 280 euro or 380 euro, depending on the chosen room, because we can offer for you a single room or shared room. It is your decision, and the rate, of course, uh, or the invoice will be issued accordingly. We have a visa assistance fee, which is 150 euro. It's a it's a documentation check by our uh, by our legal advisor. Uh, when you are uh, uh, at the end of the admission procedure and you get the final acceptance letter from us, of course, you have to start to collect the required document for the visa. If you collect all the documentation, uh, we can offer uh, the visa assistance, which means you have to send these documents to our admission team. They will forward it to to our legal advisor and she will read through it, uh, she will check it. And of course, if something is missing, uh, she will recommend to add. And the last thing, which is, which is an op optional thing, but highly recommended because it is also a required document for the visa procedure, it is the healthcare insurance. We have a really good constructed partner called MediCover and they offer this uh, healthcare insurance for a semester, so for six months. So it depends on you or not uh, if you uh, um, will sign the contract with our uh, MediCover uh, company. It's your decision, but it's recommended because it is a required document for the visa. And what kind of uh, discount we can offer to you? So if you submit your application till the end of uh, January, we can offer a 15% super early bird discount from the first year tuition fee. If you submit your application till the end of March, we can offer a 10% discount, 10% early bird discount from the first year tuition fee. And you can see the deadline. Uh, so in uh, in case of non-EU student, it is uh, the 15th of June. So it's really important. Uh, we have to close the application in the middle of June because uh, because the visa procedure. So you can calculate uh, uh, one month and a half and two months uh, for the visa decision after the interview. So if you uh, finish with the visa interview, uh, you can calculate with one month and a half and two months to get the decision. So it, that's why the uh, end of the application is the middle of June to get enough time for the visa procedure and uh, and you uh, will be able to here to uh, be here in person in Hungary when the when the semester will start in September. Uh, and let's uh, talk about uh, our dormitory partners. One of them is the CU Residence Center. It's a bigger one. It's a conference style hotel. You can see that there is a swimming pool, a sauna, a gym, a canteen inside. Uh, it is uh, 12 minutes uh, by bus from the main building of the university, so it's fourth uh, bus step. Uh, it's uh, really close. The other is the Nova Inn, which is um, a smaller one, a familiar one, but it is the opposite side of the main campus building. So it's really popular among the students as well. Or both of them can offer you a single room and shared room as well. About the scholarship, so as we are a private university, so unfortunately we do not have Stipendium Hungary, which is a famous Hungarian governmental owned uh, scholarship option, but we have uh, our merit-based scholarship possibility, which we uh, called excellent scholarship, and 30 new students can get 1,000 uh, euro uh, from the first year of studies. Our admission team can recommend this scholarship at the end of the admission procedure. They will deduct uh, the first uh, year tuition fee with this 1,000 euro if uh, they uh, recommend you and uh, if they think that you are eligible for the uh, merit-based uh, excellence scholarship. What they will um, check 
of course, your previous results, uh, it's really important. And as I mentioned, to apply to the university, we need minimum 60%. So uh, to get the scholarship, the previous results should be equal or above 90%, uh, just what to count. Uh, they will check, as I mentioned, the previous school result. It's really important, uh, the result of the Zoom interview, it's really important, and the English knowledge is important as well. So if you are really good at uh, these three uh, things, they will recommend you the scholarship. Uh, I spoke about earlier the Erasmus program. As I mentioned, we have uh, more than 200 international partner universities at, at the first year, you uh, have to learn a new language besides the English. Uh, we can offer German, French, Spanish or Swedish. Uh, you will uh, have four free classes a week. And from the second year, you can apply for, uh, for the Erasmus program uh, at one of our partner universities. You will get approximately 500 euro scholarship per month. You can uh, collect uh, credits as well during the studying period and uh, you have to pay the same tuition fee as you would pay here at Metropolitan University. And the last thing I really would like to mention to you today, it is that we have a, a contract with Northumbria University in England. The campus is in London, so uh, if there are two possibilities, one of them to graduate here at uh, Metropolitan University and after the graduation, uh, you can go uh, to Northumbria University with our degree, you will get 30% discount from their tuition fees. And if you uh, graduated on bachelor level, you can, uh, you can get, uh, you have to study one more year there uh, to get a, a degree from Northumbria. If you graduated on a master level, you have to study uh, two more years at Northumbria and you will get a diploma from Northumbria as well. So you will get a dual degree uh, at the end of the uh, graduation, at the end of the studying period, one from us and one uh, from Northum Northumbria. The other possibility to start the studying period here, finish three years at Metropolitan University, transfer to Northumbria and, uh, and finish the educational period there and uh, to get a diploma from Northumbria. So in this case, you will get just one diploma and from Northumbria. So if somebody would like to go to study in England, uh, he or she has the possibility from our university. And I think, uh, thank you for your attention. I think I uh, uh, told you all the important details uh, what could be useful for you during the application. But of course, if you have any question, uh, please ask it now. Okay, we can see lots of viewers and we can see so many questions. So should we pick from Facebook uh, Facebook page? Uh, yeah. Uh, th thank you very much. First of all, your nice presentation, yeah, and I think so that much, most of the things, and much. I think that most of the things are already clear that uh, we had questions. And right now, I'd like to get some question from our audience. So already we have uh, 160 questions, but we could not take all of the questions. But obviously, we'll take some of. Uh, guys, so uh, I would like to say that uh, please ask again the questions because we had a lot of questions, so we cannot pick up that all. So if you have some questions, just ask and then uh, we'll try to answer your questions. So since you are thinking about the question, there is a really important thing I would like to mention that uh, because you are participated in this webinar, you are eligible for the webinar discount if you submit your application in two weeks from today. And it is 10% discount from the first semester tuition fee. But it is really important because Study First Info organized the webinar. You have to mention during the application procedure the name of the agency. So that you all, uh, there is a field information or source field. Uh, there is an uh, educational agent. And please mention uh, Study First Info name because only in this case you will be eligible for the webinar discount. 
Uh, thank you very yes, much. Yes, PhD. Yes, I can see if PhD possible or not. Not yet, but it is in our plan. So it is under. Uh, uh, so our CEO just will sign it. So as soon as we have detailed or I have detailed information about about it, of course I will let. Jubed no, and uh, uh, he can post it on your Facebook or uh, or any social media platform. So it's our plan. I'm not sure if we will st we will start it from this semester, but from next February it is sure. So it's among our plan, and it's really close uh, to accept it and to start this program. Thank you very much. So we have another questions. I think. <laughs> It is a requirement, unfortunately, so no. So it's yeah. a really strict requirement to pay one year tuition fee to get the final acceptance letter from the university. And the main reason of this is the visa procedure I mentioned, because of the visa procedure. Yeah. Yes, I didn't mention, it's a really good question, IELTS. So for our admission procedure, there is no need any English certification. Of course, at the visa interview, uh, the embassy and the consulate will check it. And because everything will be taught in English on bachelor and on master level as well, so it's, it's a recommendation. If you are uh, uh, applying for one of our bachelor program, your IELTS should be equal with so, so your English knowledge should be equal with IELTS 5.5. And if you are applying one of our master program, your English knowledge should be equal with IELTS 6.0. But the certification itself is not a mandatory thing because our admission team will check the English knowledge of the student at the oral part. And if, uh, if they think uh, you need a little uh, develop uh, in the English, so they will offer at the admission at, at the end of admission procedure a preparatory English semester for you. But directly the preparatory semester, so you you are not able to apply. So it's only a recommendation after the Zoom interview. If the admission uh, uh, thing that you need only a little practice and a little development uh, for the normal program, they will recommend this preparatory program. Uh, so the English knowledge will be tested. The certification itself, not a requirement, the paper itself. And at the end of the admission procedure, uh, we will issue an English certification to you. So it's it's uh, with the final acceptance letter. So it's a new thing at us. So we will issue an uh, English certification you as well at the end of the admission procedure. You mean the study gap? Uh, yeah. Uh, I think you can apply. I always recommend everybody because if somebody is applying through an agent uh, and they do not have to pay the register, registration fee in advance, so it's always uh, uh, recommend to apply to upload all the documentation because the admission team checking mm -hmm. the applicants individually, so one by one. Sometimes uh, they are not accepting study gap, but if somebody has a really good job experience, a really good motivation, why he would mm -hmm. like or she would like to come back and sit back to study, they will accept it. So we have, I, I mentioned any, uh, always that we have a really uh, good uh, student uh, he is 41 uh, years old and he applied one of our arts related programs, but he has a really, really good portfolio because I didn't mention for arts related programs, you have to upload a portfolio work as well. So he had a really good portfolio. He had a really good motivation letter, a really good CV, a really good employment recommendation. Uh, so uh, he was accepted and he started the studying period in last uh, September. So exceptions are always, we'll have and we have, so yeah. just encourage to apply. <clears throat> the last time, so uh, it's important because uh, at the uh, end of, uh, so when you are after the Zoom interview, uh, you will uh, be provisionally accepted. It means that you have to decide, so that is the last time you have to decide if you will need our dormitory, mm -hmm possibility if you need our visa assistance or if you need our health care. So if you finished with the task in Dream Apply, uh, the admission team will issue all the invoices. And it's really important uh, to know that there will be a deadline on the invoice. So if you get any discount, the super early bird discount, the webinar discount, 
any discount, it's really important to pay the tuition fee and all the fees till the deadline. Otherwise, you will lose all the discount. If you can see that uh, you, you won't be able to, because there can be any reason if you are not able to pay uh, the tuition fees and all the fees in 10 days, you please, I just can recommend to write uh, an admission team that uh, uh, to extend the deadline. But uh, the last time of the payment, if you would like to get the discount as well, the deadline on issued on the uh, invoice. Of course, you can pay it after as well, because the application deadline is the, till the middle of June, but maybe you won't be eligible for the discount. So you have to pay the, uh, the total uh, tuition fee. Okay, I take some questions. Uh, okay, this is the most important questions, I think so, that we have. Uh, IELTS, is, uh, I think it's not necessary. It's not a required documentation for the visa procedure, but uh, they uh, will test your English knowledge. So I just mentioned uh, Jubed uh, before we start the live session that uh, now we have numbers for uh, the visa uh, acceptance. Uh, um, 17th or 16th of our applicants got the decision and from 16th, 14 got the visa and unfortunately two of them were rejected and the rejection, uh, the reason of the rejection was the English knowledge, the lack of the English knowledge. So it's really important. Maybe they won't need the IELTS, uh, but they will check, uh, of course, because they have you have to speak in English at the visa interview. Uh, so I just recommend uh, uh, not to apply for the visa and to the university without English knowledge, even if, if you have IELTS or no. Uh, uh, we, so at the university, we we'll check the, the English knowledge at the Zoom interview, the oral part, and the embassy will check the English knowledge as well. And if they, uh, if they, uh, so they can uh, decide uh, to reject the visa because of the lack of the, the English knowledge. <coughs> Oh, CGPA, so it is in Hungarian, sorry. Um, uh, our admission team responsible for the documentation check, but uh, um, if you have a look on your certificate from the university, every time on the, on the uh, top uh, right bottom, there is a, a grading system. When you can see the grading system of the university or the secondary school, and uh, just check that which is the 60% F, and if the 2.74 is under the 60%, do not apply. If it's above, of course, apply because you will be accepted. So the documentation yeah. will be yeah. fine. In this, in this case, we have uh, two students. There's a very good student that uh, I'll just, I think, 6.5. And one of the students got already at 7. But unfortunately, the result is uh, 2.98. And it's three is CGP is three is sixty percent, but it's fifty nine percent. So I don't know what about, but the rules is rules. It needs sixty percent. Yes, it's a strict requirement. It is on the website as well, so that's why admission yeah. always um, check it uh, strictly. I just can say the same as before. Please upload your documentation because sometimes if the curriculum not fit exactly to the to the curriculum you will learn here, uh, we can accept credit because in case of master applicants, uh, our academic part will check uh, the previous degree, how many credits you collected, and uh, and uh, they will check the curriculum as well. And after this documentation check, um, we can inform you that uh, if it's enough uh, to apply for the bachelor program, of course, there are some preparatory, uh, sorry, prepar preparatory master programs as well. So I just encourage you to, to apply. In two weeks, in two weeks. So if you get the visa rejection, <coughs> to send the official documents from the from the consulate to the admission team we have a, a refund form you have to fill out as well and as soon as the admission team got uh, these two documents so the rejection letter from the embassy and the refund form our refund form in two weeks we will get back the refund 
Yeah, there is the same question that already we talked just a little bit. Unfortunately, ago. no. Unfortunately, it's really sad to say, but no. As I mentioned, through the Excellence Scholarship, so we mm -hmm. do not have Stipendium Hungaricum, but the Excellence Scholarship, which me it means 1,000 euro from the first uh, year tuition fee. So we will deduct it from the uh, first year tuition fee when we are issuing the invoice. But as I mentioned to you, uh, the admission team will check three uh, things, the previous school results, the Zoom interview result, and the English knowledge of the student. So if you are a really good, uh, the admission team will uh, recommend you the scholarship. Uh, the bank statement, you meet the bank statement, which should, which is a requirement document for the visa procedure. So we always recommend that the uh, consulate will check six months, so the previous six months, and to keep uh, between 10 and 11,000 euro continuously. So it's recommended by our side. Yes, they can. As I mentioned, they can. Uh, they can do part-time job. We have a career center, so they can help you applying a job. Because in Hungary, it is allowed to work besides the besides the the classes. So you are able to work. It's allowed. And as I mentioned, it is twenty-seven hours per week. I have a lot of questions. I don't know which one should I take. Okay, we got lots of questions on. regarding engineering best subjects. So what can I do for that? So sorry, because I'm just reading the question. It is appeared here. So when admission results will be published. So after the Zoom interview, in one day you will get the result. And uh, if you are accepted or not. And uh, in the same time, you will get a task in Dream Apply. You have to decide what will you need from us. Dormitory, healthcare insurance, visa assistance. And when you uh, finish with this task, we will issue the invoices. So after the after the Zoom interview, uh, in one day or in, in in one day you will get the result. And after it depends on you. So how fast you are with the uh, transfer, how fast you are with the Dream Apply task. But the, after the Zoom interview, you will see that you are accepted or not. Uh, we are able to issue uh, invitation letter or the final acceptance letter for the student. Unfortunately, for suppose we are not able. So it's a completely different uh, visa procedure because you are applying for D-type visa, for student visa, and the suppose will apply for a short-term visa. Uh, so we always recommend that first you should be here, and then when you are here, you started the education, you are active student, so you got the residency permit, your spouse should uh, start uh, the visa procedure. <laughs> if you are accepted, no. If you are accepted, no. But you know that uh, uh, we will have a, a documentation check, a previous uh, results check. So if you are eligible for the program and uh, uh, eligible, uh, your results are enough for the to start the program, there won't be any problem at the visa interview. So actually, I... Uh pick up everything that I have most important question. I have a lot of questions, but already uh, after completing our live sessions, our student can also uh, watch again this live stream. So this presentation will be uploaded on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So Sharmina Sultana, do you have any question? Yeah, I, I got so many questions on the Facebook page and YouTube as well. So the most question we get from our client, like our students from in our WhatsApp, that is how many gap year is accepted. So like we got so many, I so got very five years study gap is accepted. But as I mentioned to you, there are always exceptions. So upload and apply, upload the documentation and apply. And uh, the admission team will officially check the document and they will uh, confirm if you can uh, go on the procedure or unfortunately you failed at the beginning. So I think our audience get the reply regarding it. Like, just upload your application if you are eligible in the interview. 
you are passed. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next account? question. Yes, I, I can uh, see a question. Whose account should show bank statement for visa student or pay? if somebody? So if somebody applying for bachelor program, of course, student uh, bank account statement will be needed for the visa. If somebody applying for master program, uh, he or she could have a job as well. So he or she could have a bank uh, account as well. So in this case. Uh, the, the bank account could be divided so they can provide the parents bank account as well and the student bank account as well but only in case of master applicant uh, this is the question for germany not for hungary i think <laughs> yes we are from hungary budapest <laughs> Okay. But I just encourage to come uh, to Hungary as well because we have really good programs. Yes, yes, and I also uh, last times so I actually I have a plan to make a video about this because too many students want to study in Germany, and now it's very hard to get an appointment from Bangladesh, and it takes approximately one year, six months, or approximately fifteen months. This is too much, and students cannot wait for this time. So I recommended the students. So first of all, come to Hungary complete your bachelor degree so you have a study that in hungary uh, in metropolitan university in english medium so if you want to study more in germany so you don't need any ilts or something because once you complete your bachelor degree from budapest university then you yes, can do they also can master they can, yes they can exactly. uh, uh, apply to other university in europe of course Yes, as well as uh, if someone wants to study in England that you have also partner university, so this possibility can be used also. Yes. I mentioned- no, this is the, uh, yeah, we already. So this is the uh, things that actually I have also more questions previously. Maybe I can take some questions from. Mm, let me... We can see on the YouTube channel as well. Yes. We are getting the question from the YouTube as well. I think. Uh, Shamin Sultan, if you have any question, you can also ask sir, because you but have the most of the students. This session, after this webinar, you can contact you anytime. Exactly. Because you exactly. Your assistance. So if. Uh, they are not sure anything or they are not able to uh, find the answer in my presentation of course uh, they can contact you anytime okay ma'am the most question i get from the students in my whatsapp that is uh, when is the last time uh, for the for the deadline for the call for the application so i have yeah. There are more deadlines. So if somebody uh, would like to get the super early bird discount, I mentioned it is 15% from the first year tuition fee. So I think it's a really, really good discount. So he or she should be in a hurry because uh, the super early bird discount will last till the end of January. So today or tomorrow. So you have to submit the application today or tomorrow to get the super early bird discount if uh, till the end of march so if you apply till the end of march you will be eligible for the early bird discount which is 10 percent discount from the first year uh, tuition fee and the uh, application will be open till the middle of june so the 15th of june you are able to apply for the fourth semester yeah thank you <laughs> and they, they want to welcome in bangladesh so maybe i am planning once... to go there i am planning to go there i'm not uh, uh, sure the exact date but of course i will let you know because i am planning to go to bangladesh in this year so if that will be a great pleasure if you visit in our country we love to would love to accept you We'd yes we have many applicants and uh, we have many good qualified applicants from your country so uh, that's why it's really important uh, to us to visit the country as well yeah yes, the student, with the agent uh, there yeah okay I most mostly the common question we get from the youtube and facebook uh, mostly we have replied regarding the questions and answers 
and let's let's check some uncommon questions which is not replied yet i'm checking from the facebook live okay Okay, um, so some, some students, we are getting the questions like some students are interested for Germany. So if you students want to apply for Germany, first you have to um, get the certificate for German language. So for, first get your certificate for German language and then you can apply for that. But you have to wait as we have a lot of students who are waiting for the embassy in Germany. Uh, as we are talking about um, Hungary, uh, Hungary uh, for the um, for the study, so we can ask regarding that questions, right? No, okay. Nursing is not available in Budapest University, and um, unfortunately, no. So we have only uh, business communication. Uh, professional subjects we have in the in Metropolitan Budapest University like BBA, MBA, Tourism and Catering, and then uh, International Relations. Programs. Yeah, these subjects we have in internal uh, in Metropolitan Budapest University. Okay, um, three month bank statement acceptable. Uh, unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no. no. Yes. No. Six yeah. Is, is minimum there... six months yes minimum six months uh, bank statement you have to show uh, and the amount should be 12 lakhs or 15 lakhs uh, to to make your impression good in the visa embassy what's the scholarship available per semester it depends on you how much you are giving your effort on the classes um what's the maximum percentage of scholarship available like if you apply today and till tomorrow we have not a scholarship it is a discount so you, discount. you know yeah, yeah. scholarship yeah. we do not have scholarship we have a uh, stipendium hungary we only have excellent scholarship which is 1000 euro from the first uh, year tuition fee if the admission team uh, recommend it so if the admission team uh, uh, recommend the student if they think the student are or the student is eligible for the excellent scholarship and I mentioned to you that they will check the previous school result they will check the English knowledge and the and the zoom interview results so it's really important so we have only this scholarship which is 1000 euro from the first year uh, tuition fee but you are not able to apply to the scholarship it is a recommendation by our admission team at the end of the admission process and i mentioned to you because i had uh, uh, read the question about the IELTS. so just uh, to keep uh, in mind that IELTS certification is not a mandatory thing for our admission procedure, but the English knowledge is needed because uh, at the oral part of the Zoom interview, the admission team will check the English knowledge. And of course, at the visa interview, the English knowledge will be tested as well. So it's recommended to, uh, to speak the English. Yeah, I think we got get our answer. And... Um... Yeah, that's the most questions, common question we have received. Without our study possible, yes. Um, Metropolitan Budapest University is accepting without IELTS. And make sure your communication skill like English is very good. Otherwise, you won't be accepted in the interview or in the visa embassy as well. So uh, get used to for your communication skill with your partner. Uh, that I mostly recommend to all my students. So there is a question if student got admission from the university then how much possibility to get the visa so we do not have any contact with the immigration office and with the embassy so it's an individual procedure it is based on your uh, behavior on your on your individual person so uh, I just can say the numbers what we have now. I mentioned that uh, for the spring semester, uh, uh, 16 uh, applicants got the decision and from the 16th, 14 got the visa and two was rejected because of the lack of the English knowledge. But uh, we can't uh, take any guarantee that if you are accepted to our university, you will surely get the visa. So it's an individual procedure. Not uh, we, we are a third party. So... Uh, Unfortunately, we do not have any uh, contact with the embassy.
can engineering student do masters in communication and media we got five to six students regarding this subject some students are really interested for this subject like communication and media ma'am i mentioned to you that uh, in case of master applicants there is a department check so the academic part of the university will check the previous school results so the previous school diploma even if the curriculum not the same or not similar to the communication and media curriculum uh, they can uh, collect maybe they could collect uh, some credits uh, there is a preparatory master program as well, if the credits are not enough to start the normal program. So as I mentioned before, uh, do the application, start the application, upload all the documentation and, uh, and uh, the admission team will check uh, the documents, of course, and the professors in case of uh, a master applicant. Um, very common question I get from my students in WhatsApp that how many subjects I can apply if I some, for example, if I get rejected from communication and media, then I can choose another subject uh, like international relations. So how many subjects I can uh, choose for applying in Metropolitan Budapest? So, uh, you know that uh, I have to tell you that uh, there are some subjects before there is a math test. So before business administration and management, tourism and marketing, uh, and there are a third subject, I don't know exactly the name. So those subjects before you have to write uh, the math test. If you fail the math test, unfortunately, you are not able to to apply a program which is needed the math test but of course if you fail the exam uh, just an example business uh, administration and management you can apply uh, to a program which doesn't need the math test before so maybe communication and media science it is only 30 minutes zoom interview it, it is just an oral part or you can apply for international relation program uh, i mentioned to you that this uh, uh, in case of international relation applicants, the Zoom interview is uh, 60 minutes, so there is a 30 minutes uh, uh, general information, general discussion, and 30 minutes for the international relation topics. Uh, so if somebody failed the math test, uh, they or he or she can only apply those programs which not needed uh, the math test before uh, the Zoom interview. Okay, ma'am. So I think the audience get their reply. Okay, the next question, next question I will pick uh, from MD Omar Farooq. Right now, visa issue for non -EU, uh, EU EU student in Hungary. Like he wants to know about the visa issue for Hungary's Hungary uh, country. I mentioned to you that uh, in case of uh, students from Bangladesh. We now have 16 results and 14 got the visa. Uh, it depends on the country because there are countries which is really hard to get the visa. There are countries which is easier to get the visa. But I think in from Bangladesh, the ratio is really, really good. Yeah. That I would like um, to also include because uh, we work with too many students, as you know, guys. And uh, we, we work with not only in Hungary, uh, Czech Republic, Poland, Germany, Denmark, England, as soon as. So um, in this case, uh, um, from my personal experience, I have experienced that in Hungary's visa ratio is too much good than others. So guys, already ma'am also told that they got uh, 40 students got already visa out of 16. So this is a very good amount visa ratio. Yeah. So we have uh, replied most of the common questions we get in our Facebook page and uh, WhatsApp and YouTube as well. So still, if you ha have again any more qu questions or confusions, you can ask us. We are always ready to serve you better. Exactly. Yes, the, we have accommodation, but too bad. And uh, so you can you can uh, answer to it because as I mentioned, yeah. we contracted yeah. partners and it's recommended <clears throat> at the beginning to to uh, stay one of our partner dormitory. And one more thing that I would like to say. So students already, you know that we already published one post on our Facebook page and group and we create a group for community only for Metropolitan University. So guys, if you are really interested to study Metropolitan University, just you join in our group and you will get all the information there. Already our, uh, I think that Sharmin Sultan already created a slide for each and everything subject 
and uh, cost, tuition, fish, accommodation, proceed, each and everything you'll get in one file. So just you spend 10 or 15 minutes and check the list. And if you have any question, we are available 24 hours. So don't worry about it. Just send us a good email with your CV and each and everything. So this is a free assessment. We'll check your qualification. I mean that academic result and something. So if we think that it is good, actually it's above 60%. So we'll contact with you further for instruction and we'll apply for you. So it doesn't matter about it. So today and tomorrow is the last date for uh, <coughs> grabbing 25% discount from the first semester tuition fees. So the students who are communicating with us since two weeks, you guys, uh, I think this is the best big time, best time to take the admission from Budapest Metropolitan University because you won't get this uh, discount after 31st of Jan. And, uh, and uh, if you uh, enroll today or tomorrow, for second semester, you are getting 15% discount. And if you miss this opportunity, you are not getting this discount. So I'm requesting everyone who's ever uh, messaging us for the discounts and everything. So today and tomorrow is the last date for uh, the- And in February, it is, will be 10%. Exactly. And if you are getting 10%, you, uh, you will be eligible for the webinar discount if you uh, submit your application in two weeks from now. And the only criteria to mention study first info name during the application, because only in this case we can we can give you this webinar discount. And am I missing my interview one month ago? What can I do now? I mentioned that it, it depends what kind of program you fill, because if, if, if it was uh, any much related program, so business or, or, or uh, um, tourism or marketing, uh, you can apply one of uh, the communication program or the international relation program. But unfortunately, if you fail the communication or ER, unfortunately, you fail because uh, you are not able to uh, apply again. I ha I have missed my interview one month ago. So what yes, can I, I do? If he missed the uh, uh, business related uh, program so if he failed uh, the business related program he has a chance to apply communication or uh, apply international relation but okay. the, of course we should know what was the reason because if the lack of the english knowledge unfortunately you are not able but if the math test was the main problem because if you fail the math test of course you can apply uh, communication For the subject which doesn't require the math test. <clears throat> It is required uh, before business, so before those programs which will have math related programs. So, in uh, business, uh, uh, business administration, uh, marketing, and tourism, because these programs will have math related uh, subjects during the educational period. So, that's why it's needed to check the math knowledge. Yeah. So I think actually we covered everything, right? Okay, but yes. if you have any question, I told uh, the student and I, and, and I encourage everybody to contact you because uh, you have all the information which is required to the university. You know everything about our admission procedure so you can help uh, with the application process as well. Yes, you have to book your appointment. So after the, uh, when you get the final acceptance letter from the university, so when you finish the admission procedure at uh, our university, you got acceptance. You have to uh, book an appointment for the visa, but this is an individual process. So for the visa process is an individual process. So you have to book the appointment. You have to go to the interview. You can contact uh, uh, for the result individually, the embassy. So unfortunately, the admission procedure, so. Uh, the cooperation with the university will add that the uh, at the end of the end, uh, uh, admission procedure when you get the final acceptance letter from us. So the visa procedure is an individual procedure. Okay. So at this moment, I have not any question. Do you have any question or maybe we can say for today bye bye and most important things that I would like to say um, in my country that we have about uh, what two public uh, examination one is SSC and another one is HSC 
So it is meant that higher secondary certificate examination that is required for uh, bachelor application. So uh, <coughs> sorry for my voice today. So in this case, uh, maybe uh, 15 of February will be published uh, HSC results. So in this case, maybe I'm not sure if I'm not getting wrong, maybe 15 or 17 of February will be published the HSC results. And most of the students already, we have got a lot of email that those mm -hmm. students want to apply for higher study in Hungary. So uh, as but well as- They are not uh, have mm -hmm. the final certification about the result. Maybe they can submit the application- Exactly, exactly. To lose the final uh, certification, but they get it. Yeah, and in this case, uh, we'll get this discount right now, but we provide- Yes, right because now. the admission check, only the submission date. So when the oh. applicant submit the application, not the status of the application, the submission so when you submit it in the system the application so if it's in january you will be eligible for the super early bird discount if you submit the application mm. in, in uh, february or march you will be eligible for the early bird discount so we check only the submission ah, okay. date okay this is more clear right now so guys students who have asked me about this regarding this question already you got the answer so uh, if you are really interested to study in hungary i mean that's Met budapest metropolitan university and if you think or if you have confidence that your result yes. will be uh, more than 60 percent so you are most welcome you can contact with us we'll apply for you and as soon as you'll get your final certificate we'll upload in portal then you'll get the results as well as for interview links and too much so you don't need to wait for this but my recommendation is for you if we have really good plan to study in hungary so just prepare right now to develop your english skill because just you have completed your atc so you have more time to prepare yourself in this case just you can develop your english skills so that will be helpful for you to get admission in university as well as to get a visa from embassy because you have to face an interview also in embassy so that was, ah, uh, already we got the answers. His HSC result will be published 8th of February. Okay. So then you can submit the application. Maybe yeah. you should write an email to admission that you will exactly. include and upload the final certification at after uh, the 8th of February, but uh, the application is submitted. So that is the most important uh, thing. Okay. And now okay, one question. I got yes. I got yeah. a comment from YouTube. Uh, Ripon Hussain is asking, I'm a student of tourism and hospitality, hospitality management, Islamic University, Kushtia, BB result 3.2. Am I applying, like, am I eligible for master's? Yeah, you are eligible for master. If, if we want to apply in um, Metropolitan Budapest University, you are welcome and your subjects and results are quite excellent. So yeah, if you apply, probably you can get the scholarship as well if if the university give you the check your all the requirements and everything but as i can see you have a really excellent excellent result so yeah please don't delay and uh, start your application and tomorrow is the last date for grabbing the 25 percent discount for the first semester tuition fees so guys please don't delay about it and for second semester you will get 15 percent discount for for applying if you apply within tomorrow And you yeah. have to pay the first year because somebody asked before that yeah. do they have to all uh, does he have to pay just one semester or uh, one year uh, to get the final acceptance letter from us you have to pay the first year tuition fee and it is uh, the for the visa procedure it's not a requirement but as i mentioned to you before uh, the embassy and the consulate uh, will see that you are financial stable if you are uh, able to pay one year tuition fee. So I think it's a good thing, an advantage if you pay the first year tuition fee, and it's a it's a a good point. Okay, I will pick another comment from to file so actually uh, uh, for, for, for sorry for interrupt i don't know as uh, if i got uh, do you have time or i have, have yes i have i am here oh, okay, to okay. inform you so i have <laughs> okay, i didn't okay. uh, uh, schedule anything for uh, this afternoon so yes okay thank you thank you very much 
Ma'am, we will take one or two questions and then we are no, done. No, uh, there are many uh, students here, so it, uh, yeah, it's we, are, we are already watching uh, 99 students right now. And you know that getting questions, it means that they are interested in. So yeah, exactly, it's a sure, sure. Okay, ma'am. Uh, Tufail Ahmed is asking, is it possible to pay the tuition fees after getting the visa? No, you have to pay the tuition fees before uh, facing in embassy because uh, if you don't pay your tuition fees, there's a chance that you will get the rejection from the embassy. And how many months of bank statement need to show? Six months bank statement you have to show and the amount should be 12 lakhs to 15 lakhs for uh, showing the tuition fees. For, for showing to the embassy. Uh, between 10,000 and 12,000 euros should be on the bank account. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just I want to include one more thing. So student guys, don't compare euro and BD Taka because just all I check the currency because right now one euro is equal to 120 Taka. So you have to compare this 1,000 euro, uh, one, 10,000 euro compared to Taka. So you need to calculate or once you um, are you ready, you need to check in bank how many BD Taka you need to. So don't compare just to 10,000 euro is equal to 10 lakh Taka. It will be more than two lakh. So compare it, please. Thank you. So the students have to just go to the bank account and you have to open your file and then you will pay your tuition fees directly to the uh, university's account, right? So don't, don't get worried about that, whatever the, uh, currency will be shown on the screen on the basis of that day you have to pay that amount so it's not exactly, enough exactly. so we can just say that 10,000 euro or 12,000 euro you have to pay so 12,000 euro equal to BDT what will be the amount you have to pay for that including the charge according to the bank so yeah Hirabala. Yeah, I have one more question. So that's for a uh, double master's program. I think that some student had uh, had already got his master's degree. I think that uh, last five years or something like that, and they want to apply for double master's degree. So I think is it possible, right? Yes, if he has a good motivation letter, yeah. I think it's possible. So just yeah. apply. <clears throat> So in actually, this case, motivation okay. letter depends on uh, actually motivation letter uh, can change your um, admission process. If your motivation letter is very no, impressive, but if he can explain why he would like to get another master's degree besides the first one. So it's a, if the reason is a really good one, of course, we will accept the student, but uh, she, uh, he or she should explain it why uh, uh, he or she would like to come back to the university and start the studying period again mm -hmm. and get another master diploma because it's always a strange thing that if somebody has a master or somebody has a bachelor he's applying uh, a bachelor program again or he applying a master program again again but of course if the if the program is a different one so if he has a master from marketing and if he would like to get a master from another master in business of course it's a good uh, answer yeah so the motivation letter has to be very impressive <clears throat> yes it's important yes so in yeah. this case um hera bala so i as i can see your result so it's very good results i think it's more than your master's degree is uh, approximately 90 percent so in this case you can apply if you'd like um i think we have answered all the questions i could according to the students queries so um we have covered almost 70 70 80 questions answers so Haya, do you want to say anything else no, from my uh, point of view, so everything was amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, I don't know if we have if we have time or maybe we can arrange one more webinar after one or two months later because yes, after of yeah after getting the result from higher education certificate HSC, so more students will be more interested to study in Hungary, and 
in this case maybe we can arrange one more webinar after one month or two months later. yes sure we can of course and i would like to thank you all of the participants to join us today and i really do <laughs> hope that i can welcome many of them in the coming uh, next semester in september so let's start the application procedure and thank you for the participation yes thank you very much 688 users that you already joined today's webinar that was a very good amount and yeah see you again thank you very much for everything thank Thanks. you so much ma'am for your nice. valuable time valuable thank time you. you're very thank supportive you for inviting thank me you. Bye -bye. bye 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 ma'am take care